Is it honey's rather desperate to get in the back? Look at that. Bloody hell. The back's usually dead slow, but that is not the usual back. Anyways. Oh. Honey, no. no. Oh, no, honey, not going in that. You're certainly not going in that, honey. No, don't be so, don't be such an idiot. Come on, move on. Where's the golf ball? So the Percipic Viaduct is a viaduct that served, I think it's the Darlington to Penrith Railway and it's obviously massive and uh, typical viaduct but quite well hidden. It was built in the 1860s and I think it retired in the 1960s when the railway was closed and the beating cut and now it's a private road to a farm. Let's have a closer look. See, you may have seen this in some of my videos back in 2020 when I first started. There you go. It's absolutely massive. And there's honey of course. We can have a close look at it. Just give a little look. And up here, I want to show you something. Honey, you're not coming up here. Honey, you've broken glass, you doofus. <sighs> Just broken glass on the floor, so you be careful up here. Oh. Now, there was a signal which went right up to the top of the viaduct. And it's come over here. Um, yeah. Oh god, Slippy. That's the signal holder. That's me making a mistake. There we are. If you look up here, you see that signal holder. Signal going right up there. There's a little hole in the viaduct up there. But it would have poked out to the top. And there is a photo, we can see that, which I should put on screen now. It's, as I said, a private road now to a farm. We can go up here, you can have a look upward. So this is how you can normally enter the, the viaduct from the road. If you look up here, here you are. So the road just goes across there. You get a beautiful view of the viaduct from here. It's absolutely massive. It's impressive as well, the, the architecture of it. And the design, the arches, a real piece of railway architecture, hidden. Not well, not well signposted. If you don't know it's here, you won't find it. Yeah, you can see here. This here is the drain. So, just do this. We rain accumulates in it. There's a little drain which disperses of it, and then. Here's some stairs we can go down to, or some stair-like things. There we go, that makes, that makes, bit, makes life a bit easier. Ooh. Yeah. These arches here to support it all. It's just absolutely massive. So obviously this featured in some of my videos from back in 2020, in the old days, T's College, I asked for it. I hope this feature is a bit better than it. Let's go and have a look around it. Once again, that's a signal holder. So the signal went right up there. I might have to show you this. I'm getting dripped on by the viaduct. So this is a signal holder. So if you look, the ground's a bit more uneven than before. The signal would have gone from there, gone up there to a little hole that was in the top there. I might get a photo of it later. Um, to, to signal the trains. Oh, look at that vandalism. Hate that. Hate that so much. And I'm going to try and get down here. A bit perilous. But give it a go. Look up there. It's an old metal strap. That would have gone in the viaduct. Wow. Absolutely. Whoa! Dog! 
Hey, that was hog. As I was about to say, it's absolutely massive. I'll find some more information, do a proper history video on it. But here we are. The beautiful viaduct. Honey! There it is, my dog, honey. I'm doing myself at the viaduct. And that's obviously that's Percy Beck, where it's named from. But after Storm Dudley, Storm Eunice, and soon Storm Franklin, it's more of a river than a beck. Yeah, beautiful. There's my honey.